Check, check, radio check. Okay, so... Uh, so my computer crashed. My internet was fine, but my, my, my computer... Ugh, I can't talk. My computer crashed. Um, also, I'm about to crash because uh, the autopilot's not doing the job. I said flight level change. At least, at least there's autosave, you know what I mean? That was very weird, so what I did was I added a little bit more voltage to the, uh, to the CPU for my overclock. And hopefully that'll help stabilize things out. And also active sky is off, so I just turned that on right now. But, uh, well, we'll keep going and, and we'll see what happens. Speed is awfully, awfully slow. Oh, Jesus. Well, sorry for that inconvenience. What the hell's wrong with this? Why is this plane tweaking now? Maybe I'm just too high. Alright. So this stream obviously is a fail, but it's, you know, still a chance for me to see how the computer's doing and stuff like that, so... Um... We'll VS this guy down. You know, in fact, let's get down to 27. Let's try 29 first, let's see what happens. Yeah, so I'm still testing things out, and obviously... Obviously, I still need a lot of work. Uh, running an i9-12900K is difficult sometimes. Um, as well as the RTX 3080 Ti, it's, it's very demanding. You know, I'm just wondering... What if I just... What if my PSU is just not supplying enough power? You know what I mean? I have an 850M, but it may be time <laughs> to upgrade to like a 1200 watt PSU. It could be that, because I I always want to turn my temps, and I, it didn't seem like I overheated. So obviously something. But no, there's no way 850 should be enough for this. Should be well over the minimum. Alright, so we'll change our cruise uh, to. Set up. There. So, sorry about that, and welcome back to. Uh, Welcome back to you guys. Anywho, as I was saying... I also believe I had music playing, so let me... Let me check to see what I was playing. There we go. I think I was looking at the arrival, actually. Yeah, we'll do the Yoluba arrival from Slugo. to level off.
perfection. So it goes Slugo Ulubo. take that PJM out, to be honest. There we go. So our top of descent is in eight miles. We'll be descending to the French Caribbean. French and Dutch Caribbean, actually. Top of descent. And we'll do VNAV. Vertical path down to, uh, let's do 2600. I swear, like, this flight is just cursed. Come on, get out of that overspeed. It's still holding up, so maybe adding a little bit more voltage to that CPU helped stabilize everything out. But what do I know? MDA 700. Cool. 
anybody home? Anybody home? <laughs> Everybody left after that crash. It scared them. You guys hear me okay? The stream's working good. People said, I am done. Yeah, like I said, hopefully the stream's working out now, so... Oh, we shall see. Sending through 180. So that means let's get the weather for Juliana. Huh. I never logged into X Pilot after I came back. A disastrous stream. Okay. QNH one zero one six. Now joined the approach. We are at Sligo, heading for Uluba. So yeah, getting there. I could see the island from here actually. If you look at our your ten o'clock, that is the island that we are flying to, and we'll be there in no time.
coming up on 10k, so let's go ahead and slow down to 250. So far, it's a smooth flight, quite impressed actually, so... Currently 68, so uh, let's go ahead and change the uh, UNH setting. Kinda guess that the airport's right there. <laughs> if you can't, God help you. But uh, that's the airport we're landing at, and uh, you can see if I had a few sailboats there. There's the cruise ship, and holy shit, Eliza, look at that. Look at the cruise ships, just like I thought they would be. Very nice. I'm glad that's modeled in this scenery. Let's go ahead and click approach. And we're heading down to um, 2600 feet and then 1700. So let's go ahead and arm 1700. And we'll slow to 220. See runway in sight. I swear, when Eliza and I flew the Caribbean, it felt like forever. You know, this stretch here to final felt like forever. Probably because there was like some sequencing stuff going on and they had the pilots fly a minimum airspeed. Uh, but it literally felt like 15 minutes just <laughs> flying there. But uh, we'll see and hopefully our system holds up here. Uh, cool. A little bit of a pickup coming from there to there. So interesting, so particular. 
But anywho, thousand feet to level off, checked. Should go to this final approach shot now. So 17, 1700 until Lessor, and then uh, let's go ahead slow to 180. And gear down. Flaps 1. I mean, flaps 20. <laughs> We're not flying an Airbus. Slowing to 160. F-121, so we'll do 126. Fuel imbalance, yes, I know. Flaps 30. Flaps 45. Auto pilot off. And auto thrust disengaged. Continue. Oh, what happened with the rudders there? That was weird. Oh well, we'll sh we're still flying. We're still flying, so fly if you check. And I did hear minimum, so continue. Crosswind of like, is it 10 or 18 knots? I think it's 10 knots. Alright, here we go. That's pretty nice, not bad. I'll uh, exit here on Foxtrot and uh, go from there. Actually, I don't think we could do Foxtrot. Nope. Alright, let's backtrack. I think we could turn around here. A bit of a float there, but uh, no biggie. Let's go to where all those other private jets are, <laughs> and then we'll set up for the return flight and uh, we'll call it a day for now. Make sure my system's stable before I keep streaming. That was very odd, though, how, th how that happened. Let me try to join this uh, little crowd here without hitting any planes. I think I can do it. What do you guys think?
close enough. Parking brake is set. APU is on, and let's go ahead and shut these off. Awesome. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and open the door. Okay, uh, one sec, guys. I went to go, good to go, just doing a, uh, was just doing a headset, headset swap, but, uh, so our passengers are probably most likely off now. So let's go ahead and, uh, get this thing refueled, okay? So I decided to run away, there we go. Okay. So I have to make a new flight plan. Since we're flying back. Okay, generate flight. Just creating a new sim brief briefing package here. Okay, we're logged on to that sim. Uh, this time, 1866 kilos of fuel. Whoopsie. I meant to do something else. <laughs> Hold up. Meant to run away from the aircraft so I can go back to the dispatch office. <laughs> Alright, hello Jenny, let's uh, get me started on some more fuel please. Welcome to Hot Start Flight Support. How can we help you today? Okay, Martin Traffic, American 2219. 10 mile final, runway 10, St. Martin. Uh, let's just say we had the same amount of packs, so two and seven. Jet A. Uh, don't need a GPU, just get me some fuel, please. Of course, Captain. I'll get that organized for you right away. Cool. Looks like someone else is on approach here into St. Martin. And sure enough, they're there. Oh, that's freaking cool.
All right, so uh, let's go ahead into our flight plan again. We'll go T and C M. TNCM and we're flying to TJ. Shall we rate this rate this guy's landing here? Let's see gets closer. Well, the part runway one zero. Let's see what this gave us. Uh, departure Mador two. It'll be on the Gouda. <laughs> From Gouda, we go R760 to Koi. American's landing here. He's right here, so let's have a look at how he does. Huh? Seven five seven, wow. A little bit long, not bad though. Really not bad. That's pretty awesome. Is he gonna break in time though? Oh yeah, he got plenty of breaking. Well the fuel trucks here, cause uh we do need some fuel. And, uh, do we still have a fuel imbalance? Yeah, a little bit. So we'll actually close this one here. Alright. I think that's it, right? I mean, we know we're gonna have... How many kilos of fuel? Uh, 1866. We know we have nine packs. Well, let's do a flight altitude of 26k. All right, Captain. Fuel truck is hooked up. Just let me know how much fuel you need. Or would you like to go tanks full today? Hello, Liza. Welcome back. Okay, perfect. So we're in liters, which is awesome. So I need 500 kilos. Well, actually, 1870, 1870. Love me up with 711 liters, please. All right, we'll take a close look at the pump. It's time to make sure we don't have any fuel imbalance, so. How's the departure? The departure looks good. American is backtracking here. There he is. It's awesome. All right, let's have a look at our fuel. So I closed this one. That one's open. Hello, Captain. It's Jenny from Hot Start Flight Support. 
Your passengers have arrived. Shall I have them brought to the plane? Sure. Understood. They'll be there in a couple of minutes. Anything else? Okay, awesome. That's all. Always a pleasure. Yeah, so now Take care. we're matching up our fuel on the left and the right tank, so we should theoretically not have any more fuel imbalances. So once we're around 750, I'll open the other fueling valve, and we should have around 1870 kilos of fuel, so... Uh, hopefully this leg will be better. I'm a little bit rusty streaming and all that, so... Just getting back into it. Yeah, no. So I'm actually going to open that one up now and close that one. Because I imbalanced it again. There's still re residual fuel coming in there, so that's why. That's interesting. Is he like ignoring my instructions or is he done fueling? I mean, we still have a fuel imbalance of around 150, so. Yeah, he's not fueling. Okay, just one quick <laughs> Oh well. Here's a we hope you have a good flight. Thanks, Buggy. Oh, Appreciate well it. Today. Great. There's nobody else coming along today. So as far as we're concerned, we're all good to go. Okay, if you're good, ready to go, then let's go ahead and close the door and call it a day. Weather got a little worse, to be honest. It's that tropical. All right. All right. Boost pumps on. Start number two, one. And two rising. 20%. And one. ITT. Got a good start. Let us start number two. Lettuce. Oh, I like lettuce. Lettuce. And two rising. 20% idle. And one ITT. I've actually got to reset the minimums here, so... Uh, reps. There we go. Two good engine starts. Flaps, 20. Yeah, damper's on. Gens are good. 
Uh, looks like we don't have... What the... Hold up. I was tripping for a second. I'm like, that's a lot of trees. <laughs> All right. Target break is uh, released. My control check is good to go. Left, right, do the brakes. Brakes are good. St. Martin traffic challenger in November 7219 Mike backtrack runway 10 St. Martin just posted myself on Unicom since there was a plane there and the lights are on let's backtrack all the way and take off so our trims are good. Still getting that window heat message, but oh well. ready for takeoff cuz I am we go Getting out once again. It's better climb at 250.
15,000 feet, so lights off. Okay, beautiful, flight level 180, we are climbing up to 260, that'll be our final cruise altitude for today. And so far so good. Not much to do now since we're about to cruise, but uh, easy flight, good weather. Landing in St. Martin was okay. I'm going to try to do even better here coming back, but uh, I'll be right back.
So we just got a warning coming out. Um, that's landing out, so... Oh my god, that's why. My bleeds were off. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Now we're good. Descending soon, 35 miles. Kiluminati, yes, I am back. I don't know what happened. I'm assuming my computer crashed because everything just froze. Probably a bad overclock, so I added a little bit of voltage and looks like we are stable now, so Can't complain. Uh, everything is looking good so far and we'll be coming back to San Jose in Puerto Rico Descending in 30 miles Hope your computer doesn't break. Well, we'll see. So far, the i9-12900K has been nothing but trouble for me, including cooling systems and motherboards. But I'll get it just the way I want one day. I'm getting close. Getting close to perfection, and I'm a perfectionist, but... You know, one crash here and there won't hurt anything. We had a good second... Part to the uh, TNCM flight, and now we're heading back to San Jose. So honestly, I don't see anything. An overclock causing just problems. Yeah, I might put everything on auto to be honest, and just leave it at that. So. Well. I don't want to say it's overclocking. I'm I'm leaving the stock clocks, the max turbo boost, 5.1 gigahertz. Uh, all I did was just put my own voltages in because this board likes to overvolt the CPU. So uh, that's just you know, I think it was my fault to putting a little bit too little voltage in that CPU. But I think we're good now. Sent 14 miles to go. Okay, five miles to top a drop. Uh, we're gonna descend down to 3,200 feet. So let's go ahead and set that over here. Thirty-two hundred is set. Alarm VNAV, and waiting for that descent to occur. Three miles. That should be 3,200 at VZ. Which I don't even see on there. Go, VNAV is active, VPath. On 
we're officially descending. Cool, good stuff. because I think you can answer it as a private pilot. Is it normal for a viewer approach to don't come straight to the runway like an ILS? Yes, it's normal because if you think about it, most VORs are not aligned with the runway. They're offset. So the best they can do is get you a course from the VOR outbound um, heading towards the runway, but it's not going to be like that. For example, I fly out of Long Beach now, let me show you an example here. It's actually a pretty good question. So if I go into KLGB, and I go into Approach, and I select their VOR, you'll see here very quickly that this VOR approach is offset. In fact, this is a VOR approach for runway 30. Runway 30 is right here, this long runway. So, like I said, as you could see, this VOR, if this VOR was perfectly aligned with runway 30, if the VOR was right here, then the approach would kind of come straight like an ILS. But unfortunately, Seal Beach is offset, so from Seal Beach, the best they can do is give you a course of 275, and then at the very last minute, you turn a heading of 30-something and align yourself with the runway. You can see that the minimum altitude is 1,500 before crossing the VOR. Then you can descend down to uh, 600 feet and stay there until you see the runway. So, Yep, good question. And the answer is yes, it is normal. <laughs> We have an overspeed, okay. I have no idea why this is not giving me idle thrust. Is it because geographical problems? Um, no, I mean yes and no. It's because they can't put a VOR where they want to all the time. You know, there's either homes there or something. So, I guess, yeah, it is a geographical problem. They just... VORs are very big. They take up a lot of room, and putting a VOR where there's no space is very hard to do, so... Yeah. I think I've seen a few VOR approaches that coincide with the final approach course, but it's very rare. A lot of times VOR approaches are offset a few degrees. For example, Skiathos, I fly like in tutorials, but don't come close. Well, yeah. Uh, wow, another overspeed. Okay, let's do this. I was in uh, the wrong mode. Alright, well, let's go ahead and take a look at a Skiathos chart. Answered my question, thank you. Yeah, no worries. So, Skiathos, if we go into approach. I 
as you can see, they give you a final course of 008. And this is, by the way, this is not a VOR approach. This is a... I think this is an LNAV approach. Uh, but pretty much, they don't give you an exact course because there is no localizer. On here, it's a little bit better. But on here, it's a little bit worse. So, yeah, it's just slightly offset, but that's the nature of the technology. It comes straight every time after the turn, probably because they go visual. But if you're relying on the instruments, then yeah, they're not going to, the, it won't bring you in close. It'll bring you off a few degrees. Okay, so let's go ahead and change to our Q&H. Altimeter 2, 9 or 9 or 6, so I have to go back in here, which is a pain in the ass. Menu, and we go... Aye, 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 aye. I actually quite like that. Huh, cool. But I was going to go into... Config. 2, 9 or 9 or 6. Boom. Now we are good to go. And we could also put our HUD down. Why not? Turn this HUD up just a bit. Right there. Where's the antenna for signal in Skiathos? Can you see in the charts? Well, like I said, I think Skiathos is not a VOR approach. It's a, um, it's a LNAV approach. So it's actually all programmed G, uh, it's not a GPS approach. Well, technically it is. It's a LNAV approach. So, like, it's all in your FMS. For example, you have this waypoint, FQ01, which is programmed in your FMS. And so what it does is it tells you, okay, well, plot a line or draw a line from this point to the runway, this course. So, the, I mean, the only signal you have is this VOR here, but it's actually, it's only used if you don't use LNAV and you just kind of, yeah. And then you also have an NDB here, but you really wouldn't use that. You are DME required. Yeah, you need DME to know how far you are from the from the runway. Anywho, that's how that works. And we're gonna be approaching our runway here. We're now from runway 28. Well we don't need that. I need this. So you can see we're coming in here and then shoot the final and I just closed the chart that I need silly me thank you yeah no worries I'm happy to answer any questions I mean from a real real world instrument pilot night lights are coming in very pretty thing I forgot to do is turn these guys on. Do you plan to get CPL? Yes, that's next. <laughs> I'll start my CPL in next month. San Juan Challenger 7219 Mike's Challenger 650. We're 5,500 descending. 
We'll be number two for the uh, ILS 08 into Sun 1. Good luck. Thank you, Kilomati. Appreciate it. Yes, that'll be next. I'll start my CPL in a few months, like I was saying, and then... Uh, then maybe flight instructor? I don't know. I don't really want to do it, but we'll see. We'll see how much of a pain it is. Instrument was hard. Instrument was pretty hard. Uh, I'm sure commercial will be a little bit easier. So someone's already on the localizer. Let's see if we can find them. Yes, there they are. They're right there. So I need to slow... Nope, do not turn me into that traffic. Alright, All right, let's go ahead and slow the hell down to 180. Apparently aviation license tests are hard. Yeah, they're they're pretty rigorous. They really, really do test you. Got someone coming in there for that runway. Down to 3200, and let's get down to 1600. I'll do VS 1500 feet a minute. Now we can turn to the final. Okay, flex 20. Someone traffic challenger 7219 Mike is turning right, heading northbound to intercept the ILS runway 08 Sun 1. Is this the return of TNCM? Yes, this is the uh, San Juan traffic walker 1645. It's uh, two mile final for runway 08 San Juan. This is the return back to San Juan where we originally came from here. So we overshot, which is okay. We'll continue the turn. Click approach mode. And technically we violated a, a rule here because we were not supposed to descend past 2400 before Joral. So that would have been illegal. But we'll continue down to 1600. Let's just assume we passed Joral. Someone traffic challenger 7219 Mike established ILS 08 number 2 Sun Mike. Okay, approach speed is 126 once again. Since we are getting close, we'll go ahead and drop the gear. Flaps 30. Landing. Thank you, Kilominati. Appreciate that. Flaps 45. San Juan 
Traffic Walker 1645 is off runway. Someone traffic, thanks for that. 7219 Mike's uh, about three miles out. Someone. Autopilot is off. Trying to get stable here, which we are slightly fast and slightly high, so let's go ahead, pitch up, reduce the power just a little bit, and I think right there is going to be pretty good here for the rest of the approach. Sixteen knots of wind. One thousand. One thousand feet checked. I think actually right there is pretty good. A little bit more power. We're slightly off to the right. Correcting. So far, so good. 500 feet checked. Approaching minimum. Minimum. Landing. Runway environment is inside. Visual. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. A little bit of a float. Reversers. Float, but butter. Thank you. Yeah, this plane, uh, it, it's pretty hard to land because if you don't get the... F if you don't get the flare right, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> Someone traffic, Challenger 7219, Mike, vacated runway 08. Yeah, we'll go to General Aviation and call it a day. So, APU is on. I should have turned that on earlier. So far, I think the most fluent plane I am in landing would be the uh, 321. We'll see the replay as well, so... aircraft you like the most. Oof. Very, very hard choice. Um, you know, honestly, I don't have a favorite, but the ones I like the most is the 320 family. Love the A300. A310. Um, the Challenger and the 747. Dash 200, 400. Not so much the 8, but I like the older... Basically, I like older aircraft. Any plane made before, like, 2005, I like. All 
All right, so here's the challenge. We're getting into general aviation area, which I didn't want to go to. But we'll just kind of cheat our way into here. Call it a day. A310 rare today. Super rare. Super rare. Okay. Parking brake set. Here. I forgot to do something and that's... Oh, no, we're in standby. Okay, cool. Alright, welcome to San Juan, everybody. Beautiful sunset at the moment. This was the Challenger 650 by Hustart. Sorry about the crash earlier, but, you know, shit happens. Looks like we are... A little bit more stable now with our system. Next flight, I'm not sure what will fly, but uh, oh shit! I didn't want to. I didn't want to go. Here. Next time we'll fly um, something else, but we'll keep uh, we'll keep a nice inventory of different aircrafts for everybody. So maybe we'll fly the 747 or the 320 or the 19. We'll see. Depends on the mood. Oh yeah, I promised you guys a landing, huh? Alright, well, for me to do that, I have to log off of that, so... You have 777? I don't! I'm actually waiting for the 777 version 2 from Flight Factor. Um... I used to fly the 777 a lot back in P3D and, F and FSX, but... I don't have it for X-Plane, unfortunately. Let's have a look here at the landing. The MDG 777 was really good. I used to do so many long hauls into Dubai with that thing, it's insane. It was so fun to fly. Ah, oh, almost no float, can you imagine? But honestly, that was very nice. Almost no float. Flare was good, but I could have flared like one degree less. Big float. Dang. <laughs> Actually, I could fly the Q400 next time. I haven't done that in a while. So close to a perfect landing. Wasn't windy, right? I mean, I had 16 knots of wind, 1 6. I don't think it'll show here. No, of course it won't. I had about 16 knots of wind. If I would have just flared a little bit less, oh my god, that would have been something. But nice touchdown, honestly. It was a great flight. Alright guys, well, if I stream later, I will. If I don't, then I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Thank you, Kiliminati, for still watching me after seven years. And we'll see you on the next stream, guys. Actually, before I exit, I need to do this. <laughs> I forgot because I reinstalled. Ciao, ciao. Hang on. You 
before I go, I need to... Now what should I choose for an end photo? How about this one? Perfect. Now I gotta add this. It says, end of stream. Beauty. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. And you guys have a great day or a great night. Alright, ciao ciao, bye bye!